Hello, friends, and welcome back to A Cozy Lifestyle with Clarissa Coward. Today's video is going to be a twofer. There will be a surprise at the end, so be sure and stick around. But to begin, to begin with, I'm going to go through my linen, you know, table linens, uh, nap, napkins, um, table runners, the few tablecloths that I have, and I'm also going to um, purge and refresh my uh, collection now of pillow covers. As you can see from this picture here, my cup runneth over. So we're going to go through all both of these little storage bins and we're going to <laughs> fix it so that they are they go back to being seats again. Someone asked me how did I store all of these things so I thought that I would show you guys and here is my hiding place or it was until it <laughs> was overpacked. So come on in and let's get organized. So friends, as you can see here, some of the pillow covers are still in packages. I haven't used them yet. Um, you know, you catch them on sale or you buy them seasonal. And um, so they're, they're still packaged. And they're not even supposed to be in this particular storage bench. They're supposed to be in the one next door. But we'll fix all that as we go along. Also, um, there are table runners as well as uh, placemats in here as well. But we're going to fix all of that. And as you see or you will see as we go along, I love um, cloth napkins. And so I have almost every color and um, for every type of tablescape, unless I find something very, very, very um, just out of the ordinary i don't need to buy any more of these and this showed me that just by organizing so let me know how do you guys store your um cloth napkins placemats tablecloths table runners seasonal dish towels that you don't just keep in your drawer let me know how you store yours and even a picture would be nice too if you'd like to share that picture in my um, facebook group you could do that um, by going to a cozy lifestyle and signing up to be a member it's a it's a private group but i'd love to see how you store yours as well so we're going to get go ahead and get started and as always what i'm also going to do um things that i am no longer keeping i'm going to bless someone else with and most things in here are still in very very good condition um but some just don't suit my style anymore so i'll be sharing those so let's work this out Friends, as you can see, a lot of my napkins are new and still in the package. You know how I shop. 
If I see them on sale, I pick them up or at a good price. And what's in the bags are napkin rings, and I do not have enough napkin rings. I miss Pier 1 because that's where I used to pick up all of my napkin rings. They had some of the most unique and pretty ones, and I'm kind of at a loss now as to where to purchase them. If you have any ideas or if you can tell me where you purchase your napkin rings, let me know in the comments below. I know there's always Amazon, but... Um, and I can look there and I will, but it was just so nice to go into Pier 1 and pick up on some very unique and pretty um, napkin rings. What I'm doing here is putting all of the ones that match together because I didn't even have it organized that way. I'm sure yours are much more organized than mine. And again, I ask, let me know how you organize yours as well. Leave me a comment below. No, your place is my place. No, my place is your place. Let's Friends, I wanted to pop in to um, say thank you. If you're a returning uh, subscriber, I want to thank you for coming back and allowing me into your home and sharing this journey with me. If you're new to my channel and you haven't already subscribed, this is a lifestyle channel and we do things in organization as we're doing today. Uh, lots of cleaning, decorating, seasonal decorating, and the occasional recipe as well as you're going to find out and you're surprised at the end of this video. So hang on. Don't go away. But uh, if you're new here, why don't you hit that subscribe button? And once you do, hit that bell so you'll be notified of all upcoming content. I'm sure that you'll find something here that you will enjoy. What you're seeing here, friends, is how I, I um, organized my pillow covers. Somehow or another, I lost that footage. But what I did, I organized them by season. And if they were non-seasonal, the ones I use all the time, I put those types together as well. So I have fall, I have spring, I have Christmas. Um... I have Easter and then I put the others together. And this is what I'm blessing others with that I've decided that no longer suits my style. Um, and like I said, everything is in real good condition. Some is still brand new, like those um, mittens there. And so are the uh, flowers um, for the, for the um, tablescape. So a lot of these are new and they're going to be for someone else. And I hope that you're enjoying this video so far. I am so happy to have this organized and now I know what I have and when we take a look at it I'll do some close-up photos and you can at the end and you'll see how I actually put everything together in these storage benches but now we're going to move into the surprise of this video and part two so stay tuned hey friends I'm back so we've completed the project of organizing and purging my linen and now I'm about to cook dinner 
I don't know if I'm going to put both of these videos together or not, depending on how long they are, but I wanted to bring you along while I make um, dinner tonight. It's going to be, um, I'm making something a little different. I am doing stuffed shells with crab meat. I'm also going to do some sauteed spinach. That's, that's usual, but the stuffed shells is new for me. Um, and I think I'm going to, husband wants fried chicken and we have some left over so I'm going to redrop it so it's nice and hot and crisp and I'm going to make myself a fish to go with this so it'll be the stuffed shells with crab meat um, fish for me fried chicken for him and um, stir fried uh, or sauteed I should say spinach I also have I've made a pot of butter beans I don't know if I'm going to add that tonight or let that wait till tomorrow so we're not eating, eating leftovers. But we're going to get started and I'm going to bring you along while I do this. So I'm starting out with the stuffed shells. So I'm going to bring the camera down and show you what we're working with. So come on in and let's cook together. So I hope you can see the camera really well. If not, I'll have to move the camera around. But I'm thinking I've got you in a good spot right now. Maybe a little too close. Maybe I need to move your back a little bit. Let's see. What's that line in there? I don't know what that is. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, I put the shells in here so I'd know how many I wanted to prepare. Um, of course, we're going to have crab meat. And I'm using um, the real crab from the claws. Pick this up from Paris Teeter. I'm using some Parmesan cheese, some mozzarella cheese, a little milk, some heavy cream, butter, Philadelphia cream cheese, and a little flour. And I'm using garlic powder, basil, Old Bay seasoning, black pepper, some seasoned salt and I think that's going to be it for this dish. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to get the shells in a pot of boiling water and get started. Anyway, so I've got the pot here and I'm going to add a little salt. Let's do it this way. So the shells will not stick together. And I also like to add a little olive oil. I'm also going to add a little of the Old Bay seasoning to the water. So the shells have a little flavor of their own. I love this stuff. Okay. And with that, I am going to add some garlic. Okay. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then add my shells. And while that's I'm waiting for the water to have my Philadelphia cream cheese. Here you go. So I'm going to add the cream cheese. And like I said, I had let this sit out for a few hours to uh, get to room temperature so it'll be easy to mix. Okay. that I'm going 
to add some of the parm. And guys, I'm not measuring. If you follow me, you know that I don't do that very often. Just kind of going with how it makes me feel. Okay. So that's about, well, I can't even say it's a third of the um, container because it's not. And I'm going to add a little mozzarella. And I'm letting the water heat because I can't seem to cook unless I have big water. Soapy water. Have you tried this from Is This Myers? It's the Method dish soap. It smells so good. This is the pink grapefruit. Love it. Okay. Um, and with this, I'm going to add my crab meat. Now we don't have a whole lot of shells here because it's just the two of us. So I'm not sure if I need all of this, but I'm also not oh not sure how long crab meat holds up in the refrigerator. Mm, yummy. So while I'm doing this, I'm also thinking, should I make it all or should I not? I wish you were here so we could talk about it. <laughs> Help me make a decision. I'm going to mix this up really good before I add the crab meat. Because what we know we want to do is to be able to taste the crab so we don't want to tear it up too much. Once we get it in, we just want to fold it. I may even microwave this for a couple of seconds. I'm going to add the seasoning. This is the basil. garlic black pepper the obey a little bit of the seasoning salt because you know obey has a lot of seasoning so we don't want to we don't want it over salted so just a little bit of that
really not that much left. Let's go for it, guys. Can you have too much crab meat? I don't know. And we just want to fold this in. Of course, we had some big pieces in there. This stuff is room temperature, but it's still, it's not like cake batter, is it? There we go. That's mixed up pretty good. Put some more big pieces in there. Okay, so now Going to start the rest of dinner sauteing the spinach. While I wait for the water, it's still not boiling, and then I'll bring you back. See you in a bit. So, friends, now I am spraying my baking dish and preparing to put my shells in and then stuff them. But I wanted to take a minute to give credit where credit is due. When I was researching how to make this crab meat dish, um, with the stuffed shells. I looked on YouTube like we all do and I found Cooking with Asia, A-I-S-H-A, and Wendelin Lynette. And I watched both of their videos and got ideas and then I turned it into my own. But I'm going to leave a link to both of their um, YouTube channels below because I believe in giving credit where credit is due. And um, their their recipes did help me to create my own. Told you you so extra But I know I'm the same Love me in spite of my trauma Give me what I need instead of the drama Cause when it pop off, it's like, oh my All good all day, but the night We be going so hard on the flip side So tell me we'll be on a day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? Rather be on that way, trying to control our emotions. If we on a rise out of passion, we could share love in the ocean. But if you wanna go insane, the way, baby, we could go all night. We could do it all night. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow your lead, but we could go all night. Now all of my calls go to voicemail I block you so I don't raise hell Should've talked through it in detail I separate ways ain't gon' end well, no But when we get back, it's like, oh my All bad all day, but the night I Get that good, good till we act right So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too You'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could do it all night We could go on Follow your lead, we can go on it. I've been calm 
thoughts could collect it But you pushing on my nerves And I'm knowing your intention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dress it gone Flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage You got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight retreating this But you trying to kill the cycle When nobody's stressing that body like me I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends No, you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on the rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go So friends, I covered the dish with aluminum foil and I put it in my oven, which had preheated at 350 and I let it cook for about 45 minutes to an hour and voila, there's our completed dish. So friends, as I plate this, I want to thank you for sticking and staying with me through the video. If you're still here, you have watched the entire thing and I am so grateful and so appreciative that you have. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and also a comment. I love reading your comments and thumbs, giving me a thumbs up and leaving me a comment also helps my channel and I totally appreciate that. So what do you think of this dish, guys, this plate? I think it came out great and this is how my linen turned out. Um, all organized and put away and I always like a container within a container that helps me to organize I hope that's a tip for you so with that said guys I'm going to again thank you for sticking and staying for my ride or dies I want to say you know how I feel about you I love you I love you I love you if you're new here I want to say welcome and if you're not already a member of the family remember hit that subscribe button once you do hit that bell leave me a comment give me a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and your family I'm going to see you in my next video, and I'm going to leave you the way that I always do, with lots of love, with hugs, and with blessings. Bye-bye.